Hey there, we're Charlene, Chris and Holly and we've been living and travelling full time in our motorhome for almost two years now. This week we continue our journey in the far northwest of Scotland along the famous NC500 route taking us through the most difficult road we've ever driven. No, no, we're not going to pause. No, this is the time that we really need our brakes to work. Yeah. Like a lot of these narrow roads along the coast were a big drop down. You have to be really careful here. Oh my god, look at this road down right there! Sorry? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 3 of our NC500 series and we have made it to the west of Scotland. We're actually at this place called Clactol Beach. Absolutely paradise here along the west side of the country. Weather's still a bit cold so we can't really start summer here but the scenery is unbelievable. We've been camped up here for the last two days and I say this a lot but I think this was one of our most beautiful park ups ever. So we've got this lovely wide sand beach in front of us and then we've got Tandy parked up right beside the beach. The whole western coastline of Scotland is impeccable, like really really beautiful area. But along the coast here we've been totally disconnected and it's been kind of nice not knowing what's going on in the world. <laughs> we haven't even had cell service or internet for the last two days and I think that might even be my favourite part of the western side of Scotland. This place is actually packed with rabbits as well. They've got in their holes as soon as they saw her. But it's time to get out of here. Charlene's actually getting the van ready right now and we're gonna get moving. Got you something as well? Thank you. This is the smallest shop, like the only shop here in Miles. Before they opened five years ago, you had to drive half an hour to kind of get out of the coastline uh, before you find the shop. It felt so good to be back on the road today after a couple of days at the beach. The scenery was spectacular and everyone we met this morning was so nice. Well, almost everyone. Sorry? I'm just you like to fuck off. Why are you talking to us? What's wrong with you? It seems that every time we go down a narrow road we find an angry farmer or an angry woman. Another beautiful day here. Today we're actually on a short hike towards Klashnesi Falls. We've only been walking about 10 minutes and we can see it in front of us already. Charlene is taking a tumble with Holly already in the river. Very funny. Sorry I didn't get it on camera. <laughs> But yeah, we're just walking for another 10-15 minutes as we approach the waterfall. It looks beautiful from here. Wait, that was a big jump. Got muddy now. I nearly fell over twice already and we haven't even arrived there. <laughs> Holly's eating a lot of grass. I don't know why. Every day we go out now, she eats grass. She fits perfectly with these lambs here. And there's a lovely cottage here that's got a lovely view of the waterfall. Imagine now living here. No, this way. He doesn't want to get out. No, he doesn't. It seems like Holly's not the only one that loves the water. It's so stubborn. Yeah, he's enjoying himself. Yeah. Nice and refreshing here, absolutely beautiful with the water running down into the stream. Gorgeous here. This is quite easy actually to get to, about 20 minutes from the parking, uh, just along the road and then a nice path inwards. The only problem was it was quite muddy getting in here and it hasn't really rained today so I can't <laughs> imagine how this place will be in winter, all wet and muddy but... You can't get here in winter, definitely not. <laughs> Not, not unless you've got your wellies, but what a beautiful waterfall and a great way to start our day. If you're feeling sluggish or a bit tired, get out, do a hike and go and see a beautiful waterfall. I really love this type of plant, but I never knew that when it grows, look, it's very twisted.
back in the van and we've got a beautiful beach in front of us. I bet you the water is freezing cold, but we're going to go and check it out, see how cold it is. Are you going in? I don't know. That's the thing, like here everyone's in their jackets and there are a few people on the beach just walking about. There's no one in the water. Shall we go and try? I really imagine myself swimming, you know, do some exercise in the water. But then at the same time, I know that when I dip my toes in, oh, it's going to be absolutely cold. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? So that's why no one swims in Scotland. <laughs> so this place is truly paradise. What a beautiful day here in Scotland. go back out to the main road again because there's quite a few things to do and there's another waterfall and there's a beautiful hike there as well locks that we can check out the only problem is the weather because it's such a lovely day today yeah and we don't know about tomorrow exactly so we really want to stay here but at the same time we want to take advantage of the sunny day and do the other stuff so we're not really sure what we're gonna do <laughs> Keep saying the same thing. Yeah, because I got used to it, you know. Back home, I see turquoise beach and I swim. And now here, I it's can't. Different. You see turquoise beach, you see turquoise <laughs> beach and you don't swim. Come on, let's go. We've decided to keep on going. So we're going to leave this beautiful beach behind us and we'll most likely come back to the coast in a day or two. But we want to go back inland to check out some of the places that we missed on the way here. So we're going to see another waterfall. I know, right? Two waterfalls in one day. But we're here, this part is filled with waterfalls and we're going to see what this one is all about. Yeah, let's see if this one is more beautiful than the other one. Mm -hmm. Let's go. This area of Scotland is the most dangerous to drive. Like a lot of these narrow roads along the coast were a big drop down. So it's not for the faint-hearted. So patience is the key here on the NC500. You just gotta wait for everyone to pass. And hopefully, you don't get stuck. And sometimes when you're driving on these curvy roads, you can't see who's coming. So you have to be really careful here. are so stressful <laughs> there was one guy he nearly hit us man yeah i think it was rented motorhome so they were panicking and came really close in the corner when you're driving on the nc500 if you're not in the mood to drive don't drive you have to be in the best mood to drive because there are so many cars here the motorhomes that's the, the motor cars homes, it's yes. not really a problem is it more the motor and there are so many passing places as well with every like 50 meters there are these passing places but sometimes they're a bit narrow and it gets difficult like look at this one oh my god two vans are coming seriously they have passing places there look look oh, okay. fit in exactly oh my goodness uh. <laughs> but this is part of the fun right fun you said everyone's looking like they're stressed <laughs> if you have a small van it's okay oh, shit. 
Yeah, there is a passing place there. I don't know how many times we stop now. No, no, we're not going to pause. No, to pause he, he's going in. Okay, okay, now, yes. This is the type of situation that we don't want to get in. Don't put the camera in front of the mirror if you can. Okay. okay. Uh, now, no, what no. is she doing? <laughs> what is she doing? Okay, now what? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh my god! <laughs> what was that? She was panicky, wasn't she? I can't wait to get out of this part. Just get more and more difficult as we go along. Oh my god! We got the energy for this. I know we can do it. This is definitely the hardest part of the NC500 so far. I'm scared for once. It's okay, we can do it, babe. Hope so. Oh, look at this. After the short and hectic drive, we stopped here in this viewpoint. It's called Drumbeck Viewpoint. You can't really miss it. We can see many islands and more turquoise beach. It's so nice to have a lookout point like this. And it's so lovely. This is reminding me of back home. What an epic viewpoint! Are you ready for part two? <laughs> Not really, but yeah, much better. It was nice to have like a 10 minute break. We hope you like the drone shots as well. And on a sunny day, the true colors really come out. Yeah. When it's rainy and cloudy, not so much, but today... That's why we continued our journey. So we see everything. Yeah, we want to see as much as we can in the sun. Honestly, I can't wait to get out of this road. <laughs> it's beautiful, but I'm not enjoying it at all. This is an extra part of the NC500 trip because you can easily go straight down. We'll show you on the map somewhere here. As adventurous and curious as we are, we decided to come here to see those two beaches. Hope no one comes now. So narrow. Yeah, we're currently in June and I guess like in July and August it's going to be busier and busier. So I'm so happy that we came like this time because this road will get really, really stressful if you stop stopping every minute for other vans. So I think this part here is very, very beautiful. If you can make it here, definitely do it but it is going to be a difficult drive so you have to be ready for that and maybe if you're renting and you're like first time driving a motorhome it will be very difficult for you i think yeah to be honest, I'm, not this part, oh my God. I'm not finding it difficult i'm just finding it stressful more than anything stressful because this is our van and if we hit it it means we get stuck somewhere on the nc500 <laughs> it's so picturesque though if you've got a motorbike, come with your motorbike. It's much more easier. <laughs> wow, look at those views! Woo! The landscape here is different. Yeah, totally different. Now, further along, there's this place called Apple Cross. It's like a mountain pass. I don't know whether we'll go up or not, but this is enough stress for me for one month. So maybe we just skip it. This is the longest 10 miles of my life. Now, all we need to see is one of those big American RVs. And then we'll seriously get stuck. These curves are so unreal. You don't Up. even see who's coming. Before we entered the UK, we said, okay, there are no hills and no mountains there. So we're going to give Tandy a little break. But we were completely wrong. <laughs> well, we knew there were hills. We just didn't know didn't about, about this. the mountains. Yes. Four miles left. Making progress. Oh my God. Look at the road down there. Holy moly! Oh! What road? That road! That's the one we're going. <laughs> That's the one we're going on. What do you mean? Look at that road. That's our road. <laughs> the only good thing is that we've seen plenty of motorhomes coming, which was a bad thing at the time, but now thinking about it, at least we know that we can make it through. We have to go up though. And pick up some speed. Mamma mia! Oh, mamma mia! <laughs> Baby. Slowly. Yeah, it's okay. Now we can pass. 
go, go. You have enough space here. 25%. This is the time that we really need our brakes to work. Yeah. This is slow. I don't care for That's a professional <laughs> passing clay specialist, if ever I've seen one. He just went. <laughs> and he didn't have enough space as well. Oh my god, this road. <laughs> The motorhome is coming. Look, there's a passing place here. Go here. This one is better. Move ahead, move ahead. Yep. Finally, back at the main road. Oh, I've been waiting for this. We officially made it through the NC500's most dangerous road. High five! Woo! We've got, we've got to go, Anna. Yes. Back to a normal road again. Two lanes! <laughs> So after that stressful drive, we really need to calm back down again. And we just spent like about 20 minutes in the van, just relaxing, because it was seriously stressful. But we've now made it to our second waterfall of the day, as Charlie mentioned. This one looks to be a bit more impressive, to be honest. And as always in beautiful Scotland, you're never too far away for a beautiful lock. So this walk is already a bit tricky. It feels like we're in quicksand, like the mud is just going down, so you kind of have to watch where you walk. Are you alright, Sha? Uh, kind of, yeah. Where are you going? Which way are you going? I have no idea. So all the normal people are going this way, but Charlene wanted to pass from here, so... I don't know, I didn't see the pathway. That's there isn't a pathway, it's just common sense. Okay, so I got no common sense, and I'm going to fall here, no? Oh. So we're all messy and Holly's looking like a Dalmatian, she's got black spots, but we will continue. If we got through that dangerous NC500 road, we can get through a boggy field. So if you do come to visit this waterfall, I think we're on the right track, but try and pass from where the rocks are. Unlike Charlene who went straight to the lake and we've kind of got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Oh my god. Oh, I nearly lost my shoe. So a very short but muddy route but you come here at the top of the waterfall where the lake meets the waterfall and flows down to the ground. Then you've got another entrance as well through the canyon where you can see it from underneath. And this one is much more impressive than the one we visited this morning. This is where the waterfall starts. It's a good 20-30 meters uh, high this one. It's very dramatic because you got the gorge, you got the waterfall, the beautiful lake and, and then the epic mountains behind them. So nice, so nice. Now this one is actually called the Wailing Widow Waterfall and the reason is because there was one guy that actually fell from up here to his death down to the bottom. <laughs> his mother found his dead body and then she climbed all the way up and jumped down to her death as well and that's why it's called the Wailing Widow Waterfall. <laughs> I don't know how that Such makes a sense. Sad story, yeah, it's a very sad story, but I thought a widow is someone whose husband died, but this was the geezer's mother. But that's the story and that's the legend. That's how it goes. Very sad story. She must have wailed a lot on her way down, I guess. Yeah. full 360 while I'm at it <laughs> Ooh, look at this road this is so beautiful seeing the road leading to the lake <laughs> just mountains and locks a nice road and tandy there he is from up here you can see so many locks in front of us obviously there's the big one behind us as well and it helps you understand like this part of Scotland how much water there is from the parking spot I heard water trickling down I didn't know from where it was coming from but I heard it when there was no cars passing by yeah most likely from this waterfall but it's amazing yeah so beautiful here like one of our best road trips so far definitely the most scenic in Tandy it has to be one of our best road trips ever what makes this area of Scotland so special is that although we're covered with mountains and locks here just over there in the distance there's the sea and loads of nice pristine white beaches um, like the place we were earlier today 
just like an hour away or just a few miles really it only took us an hour because of the single lane uh, narrow road but it's just a couple of miles away from the beach we're here in the mountains absolutely amazing so this is the path that we should have passed from instead of going down to the lake <laughs> still muddy but not not half as bad about four of them wow we're just on our way to our park up and we have to stop here there's about four or five deer there just by the river absolutely beautiful it's something that we never saw before yeah, lucky we're <laughs> on a quiet road that we can just like pull to the side Scotland is amazing us. It's so nice here. Bye dear. Well, so the weather has changed completely now, but we are parked up in this lay-by and we're actually by this huge lake. It's called Loch Assint. Uh, very, very big loch here. And what do you think? I love it. That is Ardvet Castle over there. Well, it's actually ruins really, not a castle, but what a nice spot. At least we've got a nice view here with the ruins on the peninsula and there's like a, a nice little beach as well but I think we should be good here flat parking by the road and at least we've got a nice view as well. 